I'm looking at the basic maths uh, that is required for the actuarial entrance test. This is also common to something that we study for the quant interviews. So there are two courses here. The foundation course uh, that takes in the numerical method, differential integration matrices. You go deep into this, you find uh, questions of uh, notation terminology and methods. Then you have numerical methods. No, then you have some integration. In the finance world, we see a lot of log and exponential kind of a thing. You get algebra and the series and calculus and the general thing. Uh, and, and, and then in the uh, other part, you have the stat pack. So, in the stat pack, you have statistical diagram, which is bar chart, histogram, dot plot, stream, and life, and box plot. You should know a little bit about them. Then discrete and random distribution. Uh, this part is uh, the most interesting part. You don't have a much of regression here. This case distribution is binomial, binomial and uh, uh, Poisson, and uh, the continuous are uh, exponential and uh, the normal distribution. It's quite important and fun to understand how these, these distributions So This becomes my favorite subject of uh, what we play around here. So when I look at this uh, uh, for the quant interview, these are the topics that becomes important, and we are going to go deep into them. So let's try to go deep into what uh, they are talking about, uh, and Bernoulli distribution and uh, Poisson distribution is something that is quite uh, uh, tricky to understand at times. Uh, now. The story starts with uh, the binomial distribution. The binomial distribution is uh, really close to uh, 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 those uh, throwing up of coin kind of a thing. Let's look at that. So, if, if, uh, suppose you throw a coin and uh, you want to find out how many heads you are going to get. Uh, like suppose what is the probability that you get three hats out of ten then those three hats could be placed everywhere and that's where the story starts of binomial distribution uh, the other distributions are being made up of uh, from the same distribution if, if you see here so this is kind of a mother distribution for both distributions uh, now if a general follow binomial distribution with an np the probability of getting k success and time is this so the easiest way to understand this is with the help of uh, flipping of a coin because that's where uh, you get so suppose you have only two outcome possible uh, you're going to win you're going to lose and that remains constant like uh, with an independent throw and that's where you can apply the binomial the mathematical language tries to complicate things but the idea remains the same so the best example here <coughs> that uh, you can use as uh, the throwing up of a coin and you can really understand binomial distribution by that in general if the random variable for a binomial distribution in p that probably getting exactly k success and trial is given best probability it's nothing but arranging things and this is the binomial coefficient <coughs> and this is the cumulative distribution this is uh, what we are uh, talking about And the uh, covariance between two binomials, if two binomials are distributed or observed together, estimate of coherence can be useful. And that they are looking about for this. There are some related distribution like sum of binomial. We'll, we'll look at that a little late. Let's look at the approximation because that becomes important. So Bernoulli distribution is a special binomial distribution sub that symbolically uh, x uh, is uh, binomial 1 to p has same meaning as x is one to consider binomial distribution of n Bernoulli's trial where each happens with the same probability and the binomial distribution is special binomial distribution which in which sum of n binomial distribution if uh, n the same binomiality. Let's look at that. So Poisson, Poisson distribution uh, after a French guy, let's look at an easy example. For instance, an individual giving track of a uh, mail that they receive each day, we notice that they receive an average number of four letters per day. 
As this is reasonable to assume that receiving one mail would not affect the arrival of the future email, that the piece mail from sources arrive independently, the number of pieces we will receive uh, in, uh, per day would be goes on distribution. The next one number of phone calls received by a call per hour, number of TKs that happen per day. So discrete random mail access goes on distribution, the probability of mass function is given by this. I think uh, it is derived by approximation of something, but I don't remember that. I'll probably cover that in some time. The Panola distribution. So, class is a single toss, indicating that uh, the original terminology, probability mass function. So, examples are poor here. You know, they try to complicate a lot of things, but the idea remains the same. But uh, uh, I, I'll, I'll try to simplify this uh, uh, on, on what's happening here.